Another Ford Hat Thursday. This week we are doing a John. But before we get into that, we gotta get a little business out of the way. If you want to follow us on Instagram at Approved for All Audiences, that'd be good. Chester, where they find us on Twitter, Approved for All. And if you want to send us an email, why don't you go ahead and shoot a line at Approved for All Audiences Pod at gmail.com. gmail.com. And if you're just listening on any platform besides Pandora. Why don't you watch us on YouTube? Why don't you go ahead and do that, dude? We just need a couple of summers to get to a hundy. Oh, that'd be sweet. That'd be fucking sick. We really want to change the URL from t Benteen one to, like, maybe AFFA, like, A-F-A-A. two or three, yeah. and not 18,000 words it's or letters. It's a lot of words. It's a lot of letters, a lot of words. We'd appreciate it, guys. Um, for the record, I'm Tim Benteen, and we have... Tower of Chase, the new port. Let's get going. <laughs> He's not even mentholated. Hey, oh, that was the right. first... Actually, uh, when I first wanted to try Sagrits, I don't need more. One year clean. Thank you. Um, Wanted new ports, obviously, because my last name is Newport. They sucked. Yeah. Dude, a lot of people start on Newpies. They fucking stink. I was, uh, remember Marb Smooths? Yeah. They tasted like peppermint. They were nuts. That was actually like the progression from Newports. It was like, oh, these are disgusting. Let me get some Marlboro. Yeah, meals. dude, they were fucking, loved them actually. But I don't think they even sell them anymore. When you really settled in, were you a Marb Red guy, full flavor? Um, so I did cigarettes weird, and I would, I don't, how do I do this? I would like blow it like out of there. Side and it would give me like a gnarly tar ring. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I switched to L and M's, L and M Turkish blends, Turkish nights, and they didn't do that. And they were also like four dollars a pack compared to like six. So <laughs> you know what your boy did? <laughs> yeah. Once I had a little bit of, I don't have money, but once I would like was a yeah. little bit more financially mm-hmm. responsible, I was Marb Lights. Or day. Well, I lived in Spokane also, uh, which I moved there when I was eighteen. Maybe I was nineteen. Fresh out of high school. Yeah. Held back in first grade. Well, uh, counting. I got my. My uh, my license nipped like they punched it because I did a naughty, and because you got held back. No, I got a DUI. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, only certain places would take my uh, ID, so I could only go to a couple different spots, and they didn't always have L and M's, and that was my preferred Turkish blend. That was a go-to for a long time. Yeah, dude. Uh, which is also great if you're a trash bag because like people don't want to smoke that, so like handing them out, people be like, I don't want that. It's almost like an American spirit. But like, I don't want to smoke a fake yeah, cigar. People- like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want L and M. Like, perfect. I don't want to fucking give it to you anyway. Yeah. Especially now, dude. I'm so glad I don't smoke cigarettes oh, anymore. Man. It's fucking like twelve dollars a pack, dude. And Oregon's all fucked too. That used to be my scapegoat. That's like why I quit. Like once the sovereign land of Oregon stopped dealing out tobacco all cheap, like I was like oh, we got we got a cutsy dog, dude. It's crazy now. Like, I didn't really. I probably knew, but kind of didn't acknowledge it that much. You could just smell really aggressively when oh, someone had just ripped a ciggy. Like since you've quit, yeah, yeah, your sniffers like on point and I'm now. Like, wow, yeah. I thought I masked that. There I are people that didn't. I work with that I didn't know they smoked, and I'm like, you smoke? I'm like, yeah. I mean, they're all Vietnamese, of course they do. Yeah, spoilers. Yeah, uh, yeah. Vern, shout out Vern. His name's actually Vong. I just figured that out the other day. Oh, mm-hmm. hey, shout out Vong. Long time no see. Yeah, dude. Um. Do you have a story for us? Well, I do, but I got a quick question for you. Oh. I've been hearing a lot in the news and the media lately about this thing called BDE. BDE? Big Dick Energy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering what it is. Uh, I think it's confidence in a nutshell. That's it? I, I believe so. Do you have to have a BDE to have the BDE? I don't think so. I think that's I, I think that's the summary is you're you're obtaining the Big Dick Energy even though you might not have one. You so, don't have one acquired. You so don't have one locked and loaded. So there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance, movies. Really good. Yeah, I do have a story. Real quick, you got any, you got any FMKs <laughs> for this BDE? Fucking marks? What is, what's FMK? Fuck, Mary kill. Oh! Can you, um, can you pull one out of your trousers? Sure. Yes. Um, Swiss? Ooh. Provolone? Mm-hmm. Cheddar? Gonna marry Cheddar, gonna fuck Provolone, gonna kill Swiss. T? Interesting. <sighs> Ooh. The cheese is intrigued. I think I'm going to have to. Well, I use so much cheddar that I think I got to wipe her down. 
Oh yeah, lock you know, that I, got, up. I think I got to put a ring on it. Lock that up. I, got, I think I got to do it. I got I got a wife sheds. <sighs> Swiss is a pretty tame cheese. I can live without it. I think I could too. I need provolone to be melty on stuff, and I can do without. Yeah, Swiss we're, we're gonna have to boot Swiss and keep the prove. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. I hate to do it to you, Swiss, but there's too many holes in your story. Yeah, Eesh, that was stinky. I would, I would probably, I would probably adopt Munster and. Um, oh, dude! Sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say I'd probably abort Bree, but you can't anymore, so I'm keeping Bree. Bree's pretty good. I wonder if Bree is actually pretty good. Oh no, there's an eye in there. I think blue cheese is overrated. Yeah, I'm real picky with my blue chess. Um, it's gotta be it's gotta be like pretty tried and true for me. Uh, and there's a lot of gung ho folks with the blue cheese, and I'm like, it's gotta be like I think uh, Ken's Steakhouse makes a pretty good blue cheese dress, and that's like <laughs> that's like it for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I'm doing slam poetry, like really emotional stuff, that's yeah. the name of my blue cheese. Because I'm sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's that's a stretch, Armstrong. Uh, Story time? Sure, hit him with it. So geez. I thought of this because we're doing um, Johnny Tsunami, and there's some snowboarding involved. There is. I tried, if you didn't know, I tried snowboarding one time in my life, and it's a fucking disaster. I uh, I had some buddies that knew what they were doing. I think it, were you with us for this? Is this in town or is this? No, this is like Michael Kyle. I thought I don't think so. I don't think so. It was like Michael Kyle. Me. I feel like maybe Amadeo was with us. Interesting. Maybe Weird could be wrong about that. Maybe David Hoagland. Oh, I definitely was not there then. There was someone who was not part of the awesome foursome. Uh, and uh, and uh, anyway, th that doesn't matter. And so it's my very first time. I'm like fairly coordinated at this point. Colin? Could have been Colin. I think I've heard this story. Colin, but... Colin, if you were balling with us that day. Yeah. Um, I only went snowboarding once with Kyle in, uh, in uh, LeGrand. LeGrand. Uh, just the one time. Anyway, carry um, on. Yeah, it was my first time. I was fairly coordinated at this point in my life. Knees were still clicking real good. Uh, it felt like I was I had maybe above average balance. Don't full know. mobility. Yeah, yeah, full mobs. <laughs> full mobs. Um, and Chase so, Mosby. Anyway, <laughs> Chase Mosby. I get there, and like I feel like Michael, Kyle, and Colin, the guys who knew what they were doing, were immediately like, all right, figure out the bunny hill. We're going to go hit some fucking double blackies, dude. Diamonds. And... Um, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And so Michael's dad is with us, Craig, who's a fucking legend. Oh, Craig's the um, best. Fucking legend. Love you, Craig. Miss you. Love you, babe. Um. Anyway, <laughs> Craig is like with me at the top of the hill. He's not snowboard, and I go. <laughs> he's just paying for it. He's just paying for it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Busting us all up there. Um, <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. And thank you. Yeah. And fucking, so I go down like, and this is the bunny hill, right? So there's a bunch of kids learning. I'm like 15 and should know things. I go down like 10 feet, and I eat shit right away and I'm like well that's pretty fucking hard actually I don't get how to steer and I'm like I'm like on my back and I like can't figure out how the fuck to get up because I'm on like a downhill I'm kind of just laying there for a second like holy shit how do you just get back up on this and I hear Craig at the top of the hill um, our buddy Michael's dad and he goes Tony up that's a Craig catchphrase catch line, yeah, yeah. Catch line? Hmm. catchphrase yep tagline yep Um, he's like roll over <laughs> You roll over, man. Red Rover. <laughs> yeah. so I roll over on my stomach, and then it's like, oh, you can just push up and get up normal. I'm like, yeah. I wonder how long I would have been flopping around here before I figured that out. Anyway, I don't get the hang of it at all. So I end up getting back up and getting straight on the board, and I just start going really fast on this bunny hill where people are not going very fast. And I don't know how to, like, slow down or heel side or flip You're toe just side. doing the straight thing? Dead straight. I have a very similar story. I think it ends differently, but yeah. Yeah. So I end up getting down to, like, this is like a scene out of the movie. I get down to, like, where the line is to get back on the lift to get back up to the top of the bunny hill. And I just instinctively, like, throw my feet forward and do that thing where you just shh a bunch of snow out on people. <laughs> and this, You're a hard ass is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. This guy comes up to me, and he's like, first time down? And I'm like, yeah. He like helps me up and he's like, all right, I'll show you how to get off the lift. And I'm like, dude, thank you. So we get on the, the lift and he's like, hey, you got to take one of your feet out of the, the binding. And I'm like, uh -uh. he's like, yeah, you take one out and use the stomp pad. The fuck's it? Fuck, I'm, what am you stomping? I didn't understand. And so I take one of the, f I take my right foot out of the binding. So my left foot's still in. 
and we get to like where you're getting off the ramp in the bunny hill and i'm like what the f this doesn't make any sense to me on how to stand on this thing we get off and i instantly like the second my board hits the ground i just eat shit again and the board rolls with my fucking foot my left foot in it and i'm thinking like i just broke my fucking ankle and i'm about eight feet in front of the uh the chairlift on the bunny hill with a bunch of 12 year olds <laughs> i'm like down on the ground like oh is this timberline meadows this is, i think it's meadows okay i could be wrong i think it was, was it the fancy fucking shining hotel i don't think it was timberline okay. but i don't remember. i've only been to meadows also i roll my ankle eight feet in front of the end of the lift and there's like little kids getting off and like you gotta get out of the way you need to move and i'm like i don't Dude, I fuck can't. you little kids <laughs> and i can see the fucking what, what do you call it? the cottage the lodge yeah lodge sure. i can see the lodge right in front of me and I think Craig's like, are you okay? I'm like, nope, this is not right. <laughs> yeah. This fucking ski patrol has to come from, I don't know, 50 yards away and pick me up in front of uh, the little kid baby bunny hill chairlift. It's fucking embarrassing. You know how stretchy? I don't remember. And I think they get me like on the back seat of somehow. Like, oh, the skidoo? Well, he gets like, he gets like the binding off my foot, but not the boot. And they have to like cut the boot off with what? this fancy tool. Is it a rental? My, yeah, it's all rentals. My fucking ankle is four times too big. I mean, the shit was just. And you know what, though? I got to sit in the lodge and like drink hot chocolate and watch TV with my foot elevated for the rest of the trip. Not the worst time, but really shitty experience on learning to snowboard. Never tried it again. Won't yeah. do it. I had I had a similar experience. Uh, well, I went with Kyle once and he's a big he's a big snow family. Also a motocross guy. Or motorcycle guy, I guess just to say. Anyway, they took me to Le Grand and they like forced me to have a lesson. And at the time I was like, dude, I'll just fucking figure it out. I really hate being taught stuff, even though I need it like 95% of the time. Uh -huh. I really don't like it. But the lesson really fucking helped like a lot. And uh, yeah, so I was like kind of getting it. I was like crushing the bunny hill. Like I could go up and down and I'd do it like a few times. And they're doing black diamonds. What the fuck ever. Okay, so I think I got this. Fast forward six years later. Uh, Kyle and Alex, shout out boys. Uh, they take me up to, I think it was Meadows again. And like, I'm sick. Like I'm working Jack in the box and I called in, which is like a big no, no. Cause I'm like legitimately shitting my pants and they're like, come to the mountain. And I'm like, that sounds fun. So I go up there and I like try to do like a run and I just tumble and tumble. I'm like, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to sit in the, the, the cabin, the, the lodge. And, uh, like just sick as fuck. Was I twenty one? I feel like I wasn't doing. I, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking. I don't think. And uh, I was there so long. Like one of the bus girls was like, "Are you stranded here?" I'm like, "No, my friends are having fun. I just don't know how to do it, and I don't want to be a, a nuisance." Oh. <laughs> and she like gave me like a loaf of bread, like a little like hoagie roll, and she's like, "You look hungry." Oh. I'm like, "Aren't you like 14? <laughs> like, oh, stop it. This is fucking so weird. Damn. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, like sixty bucks, not well spent. Yeah, I wasn't. It was built, terrible. I wasn't built for snow sports. Yeah, extreme sports in general, really. I never really. Snowboarding's so fucking hard. It's hard. Motorcycles are hard. It's yeah, impressive. Oh, I used to be way better at the sickles. Yeah. I'm not so good anymore. It, really fun watching you. I already told you this cruising up camping. Like, oh yeah, we out. went up to. Uh, if you're from the area, uh, Merwin, Yale, uh, Swift, up in that area, past Cougar, the, the, the reservoir, yeah, uh, lake area. At the really base of Mount St. Helens, pretty much. Yeah, really fucking cool. It took the old uh, Hagley Davidson up there, and fucking it was great. Going home was a little cold, but yeah, yeah sleeping sucked. I didn't sleep there. That's camping. Yeah, that's camping. All right, all right, all right. Just Rico, I think it's time uh, for a little thing we like to call nifty. A hurtie. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think this was a pause and claws fun. I stop saying that. It's not called that anymore. Retails, which is a pretty good name. Yeah, I don't know why I like pause and Ta claws more because retails makes far more sense than a thrift store atmosphere. Wasn't pause and claws the name of uh, Ben's pet shop in Washougal? Precious pause. Never Precious mind. pause. Yeah. Mixed up. Pause and claws is the same store, but it used to be uh, on actually kind of close to us, St. John's and St. James. Oh, like in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Where that high school pharmacy is now. I know, right yeah. where you're talking about. Anyway, uh, we found a little flickeroo called American History X. Ooh. Which I ah. haven't seen in a while. That's kind of why I picked it up. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember really liking it. Ed Norton, uh, fucking Edward Furlong. Which, if you haven't looked at Edward Furlong, dude. Uh, that guy. He's got... He's got a... Had a career. And then kind of just threw it away because drugs and stuff. Really? Yeah. 
I can't seem to think of off the top of my head who that is. Uh, the kid. Oh. Yeah, he was in Terminator Two. Yep. Uh, he was like a walk on for Terminator Two. Uh, yeah. Fucking. Yep. Yeah, dude. Yep. Uh, pretty good cast. What's the fucking big guy's name? Uh, Jesus. Oh, Ethan Suppley, dude. Maybe I'll if I can remember, I'll pull a pick because in this in this movie and in probably any other movie you've seen, he is legitimately massive. Remember the Titans? He's like fucking ripped now. Shredded. Shredded, dude. A lot of work. Yeah. I mean well, like hard work. I shouldn't have made it sound like Right. But also work. He's had some cosmetic help, but like yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he's got some money. He he also put Oh in that fucking effort. my name is Earl. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he got really ripped. Interestingly enough, is like his movie career. Um, maybe he didn't want to continue. I guess maybe he was like. I, I feel like he did something recently, uh, with like Ryan Reynolds. I'm kind of talking on my ass right here. I feel like he did though, but maybe I'm not 100 percent accurate. There. I don't know. Uh, if you haven't seen American History X, pretty good. Uh, what's what I'm looking for here? Uh, not famous. Infamously, uh, I believe this has the Norton cut because he was a real dick about this movie really and he had his own way about it uh huh. yeah like really pissing on said director who did direct this this is another new line did norton write it or something no so he just wanted to decide <laughs> the direction of the film yeah that's kind of what eddie does he, oh, he's uh i didn't know this labeled hard to work with really yeah uh yeah huh. but i i i, I, I think maybe it's not on here Wide screen deleted scenes. Maybe it's not this one, but there there is an Ed Norton cut, uh, which has more things and more stuff the way that Ed Norton wanted it for some reason. Huh. Anyway, yeah, he seems like a guy that's probably really overbearing about your project. Yeah, that's but it's a pretty good movie. I haven't seen it for a while. I would I would like to see if my opinion changes about that. Sure. Because uh, if you don't know, it's very race heavy. Uh, oh yeah, it's about skinheads, right? Yeah, and yeah. then uh, Edward Norton's character like changing, and Edward Furlong, which is his brother in the in the film, uh, trying to stay true to his neo Nazi ways, and then yes, some shit right. goes right, down. Right, right. Not to give you any spoilers, if you haven't seen it, it's probably a pretty relevant thing to watch right now. This has the infamous uh, like curb stomping scene. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like Fuck. three minutes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not as well. I shouldn't say that. I was gonna say it's not as gnarly as you remember, but. It's been about 10 years since I've seen it, so maybe it's pretty fucking gnarly. I don't really remember. Anyway, that's been the Nifty Thrift. Good job, boy. Again, if you guys want to see eBay comps, let me know, because that could be fun. Again, that's not something I want to sell, but they might make the thrifts a little more interesting. And also, if you are ever looking for something on eBay, if you just shoot Tim a little text message, he'll probably oh. find the coolest shit for you pretty quickly. I love looking for it. some good garbage. Yeah. Uh, when you were having fun, look, we like to look for golf shit all the time. Sure. And or anything, really. I'm like, look for a Scotty Cameron Newport. Three minutes later, keep an eye on this fucker. <laughs> Did you see where that thing went though? No, I three twenty five gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. With like forty bucks shipping, I would have made peace with a hundred bucks, and that was about it. So you're not gonna find a Scotty for a hundy. Well, you're right, but uh, unless you get uh, gr garage sales for golf clubs around here, like overpriced or it's just all garbage. That one we went to had some. I mean, for the what they were yeah. asking. If you for, if you're into golf, I found a Pingo blade for a buck. Pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, pretty neat. You've got a good collection going. <sighs> I know, and I don't I don't need to collect. Is that an American thing? Let's collect shit we don't need, like, in abundance. I don't know. I, 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 can, I don't need five motorcycles, but I have them. I don't need six sets of golf clubs, but I have them. I should save more money, but I love having I shit. I don't need six TVs, but I fucking have them. So, someone asked me one time, they're like, like, what do you do, like, for, like, savings? Like, what, why don't you, like, uh, put more aside? And I'm like, you know what? Because when I have money and then if I want something and I could get it. Yeah. That's it. I'm actually pretty good at saving. I'm not that well, good. Well, two incomes. Thanks, babe. But. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, I pull X amount and I use, like, a third of it, truthfully. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. But, you know. You're doing just fine, Sprout. Just had my nine year at Paper Box, I guess. Yeah. That fuck, dude. That's good. Yeah, I think it's roomy for other jobs. <laughs> I haven't seen anywhere for over four. <laughs> if I went anywhere else, uh, I don't even know. King of the Castle, King of the Castle. I do right. have like chair. Right. Loyalty counts, bro. Uh, sort of. All right. Yeah, anyway, uh, what are we doing next? Do you want to get into the fucking feature film? Do you want to give the kids a little synops? Are we doing news? Oh, yeah, that's what we do. Chester Cheese, that's why we keep you around. Have you ever met my friend, uh, Bobby O'Reilly? We'll do it live! Fuck it! 
Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. That's what we're doing. That's what the man says. All right. Jester, start him out with am I? So, uh, just announced that. Um, well, okay, it's not just announced, but this is the first still image from the new Tom Cruise. Oh, is that exclusive? It's, yeah, first stilly. Yeah, first stilly. Um, which kind of a bit of a w weird stilly, I think. Like. Yeah, whatever. Um, this is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, so it's obviously going to be, a, I'm guessing, a two-parter. Yeah. Um, I have become rejuvenated in the Tom Cruise world because Top Gun Maverick was so fucking good. It was a good time. And Tom Cruise was so good in that that it made me want to go back. I haven't done this yet. It made me want to go back and dive into the Mission Impossible franchise because I don't remember. I'm sure I've seen the first few. Don't really remember any of them. And I'd like to go back and revisit this franchise. Do you know how many Mission Impossibles there are? I think this will be the fifth installment. But oh, I'm, that's it? I think. I don't Let know. Let me just look. Because I'm, I'm just yeah, purely out of curiosity. Because I was thinking um, of... You mentioned this is the first still. I think it's because old Tommy Boy does his own stunts. He does. Uh, and he's he turned 60, what did what he say, like four days ago? I think it was yesterday. Well, by the time this is coming out, probably oh. like a week ago. <laughs> good, good call. Um, so yeah, I, I imagine that's old C Ruse there doing doing what he no oh, no oh, doing what he does. Um do you, any any thoughts, opinions on uh this giving Scientology a little more legs to walk on? Um real quick, this will oh, be yeah. this'll be seven and the second one will be eight. Oh wow. It is more. And then can you repeat that question again about Scientology? Yeah, any any chance this gives them a little more, a little more, a little more guff and puff, a little more legs to walk on? Like that, Tom Cruise is kind of having a bit of a resurgence with with like Top Gun and stuff. Yeah. You know what? I don't really care if you're an adult and you can't figure out for yourself that Scientology is fucking bullshit and you should figure it out. Then fuck you, join it. What's her name? Uh, Leah Leah Durnham Dunham. Oh yeah. You know yeah. What I'm talking about King of uh, Queens. Uh, Leah Leah uh, Leah Rom Rom Remney Romney Rimey. Leah, Remy, Remy, you're yeah. right there. It's something like that. I get her cause, but now I just feel like she's making money off of talking shit. I, I just people like there's ownership in this world, and yeah. if you think that Scientology is the right answer for you, and you sign up for it and you pay a bunch of money for it, I th think you're probably stupid. Yeah, um, I think it's kind of a flex at, at a lot of points for these Hollywood guys. Like, what do I spend money on? I guess I'll believe in fucking Lord Zeno and be like, well, I'm a Scientologist. Well, I wanted to clarify that, like, I think you're stupid if you do that with Scientology. Guess what? I think you're pretty stupid for any of them. Yeah, so, hell of truth. I don't really care, like, at all. Like, uh, Tom Cruise is Scientology. Scientology is dumb. Tom Cruise would be a big idiot. I like dumb action movies. Yeah. I do think her crusade is a little muddied now, though, because she's done, like, six specials, like, denouncing it. And it's like, I think we just needed one, though. And didn't we know? Yeah, I think we did. I don't think it's a secret. No, she's done like three Rogan appearances, and she has like eight different specials about like how stupid it is. Yeah. And one of them is like a reality TV one where she like goes and like talks shit. It's like, yeah, we fucking, I think we, without you, I think I knew though, is what you're saying too. Yeah, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know how much she's milking it because I haven't paid, I, like I watched the, like one special of hers with it, so I don't, if, there's a lot. I mean, I get that she's hurt, but now I feel like it's just a cash grab, yeah. which is like, I think it's pissing on your own cause a little bit. Yeah, it's it's also, it's it, look, I do like sympathize and that does suck, but like, yeah, there's a lot of really shitty ones where people yeah. weren't millionaires about it. And, and then uh, they kill women and stuff and take their parts. And I do, this has got to be, I got to remember this because this is also a fantastic story time option with, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but when I went to a Jehovah's Witness meeting intentionally what? a little teaser for next week maybe i'll write that down it's fucking bonkers anyway where were we <laughs> news uh, oh yeah news so that was uh mission impossible. Mission, what was it called mission impossible uh dead reckoning dead reckoning is a pretty cool title i will say yeah dead reckoning is neat i don't think that really means anything <laughs> like as a as a as a phrase a dead reckoning yeah it's kind of like can't it's kind of a double negative yeah it doesn't you really doesn't really make a whole lot of sense but you know more props to you there tom cruise oh this is a cheese centric news one uh, Ooh, I'm, I'm very excited for this next one are you now i am are i don't know now? anything about this i was a real Canadian. Uh, are big... you now <laughs> can i can i talk sorry oh please no i just cut you off drink you drink for me cutting you off <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta pull my tail <laughs> Uh, can I can I talk about pray with my Canadian voice the whole time? Sure, you can. A eh? yes. All right, eh? a. <laughs> <laughs>
Eat, pray, love. <laughs> Welcome to the prequel of Predator, eh? These boys have got tarps off full blast here, bud. Oh, I'm not going to do what that. What was it, Joe Johnson's Johnson scenes? Dude. Jim Pons and Big Hawk and Pants and Big Box, bud. That was a license plate frame we saw <laughs> together. If you like ripping darts in a Target parking lot, have we got the fucking savings for you, pal? We're ripping darts in a Target parking lot. Four loonies and a half a toonie, and we'll get you out of here full send by. Oh, can I give a free plug to Steve Wallace, the yeah. stealth camper? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a Canadian guy. Uh, he'll he'll camp like under billboards or in roundabouts to see if he gets caught there, bud. And he uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he'll he'll fucking uh, he's got like a backpack full of shit, like like minimal camping gear. Like he'll park. Or he'll camp behind like a like a Home Depot, and just to see if he gets caught. And uh, he calls it a step two. Is grabbing a Molson, and like, oh god, it's time for a step two here. And then people will like dedicate like money to his beer fund. It's fucking awesome. Steve Wallace, W A L I S. It's great. Stealth yeah. camping. That does sound really fun. It's great. You know the uh, fuck the police song? Yeah. Fuck the Mounties coming straight out of <laughs> Ottawa. <laughs> I don't know why. I think Pretty that's good. Fun. Prey, guys. Um, this is this is Prey. Now, this movie is a prequel to the Predator series. This movie takes place uh, three hundred years ago, and what? Yeah. Okay. Th- and th- it takes place in America, and this is um, I'm gonna. Uh, I think it's Comanche. Comanche natives are um, basically fighting off the first appearance. Of, well, the first appearance that we know of. I guess it could go back further. Uh, fighting them off in America. So I think that I thought that was a kind of a fun take on a prequel, make it like that far back and how a different civilization would handle a fucking alien predator. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that up again. It does look at kind of apocalypto y. Like yeah, it bit. does. I like that picture a lot. That's like yeah. a that's like that's like what that's like a better version of the village. I'm a real sucker for fringe too. Fringe? Yeah. Look at her look at her legs there. Mm. <laughs> oh. Um <laughs> moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, so any interest out of you there, bud, to see this guy? Oh, friggin' straight true, dude. Uh, I'm interested to see if it's, like, subtitled. Are we gonna be speaking English, or is it gonna be, like, a language we don't know? That would bug me if it's not, like... You know how, like, in Apocalypto, it's, yeah. like, a, a bullshit language? Yeah. Fucking Mel Gibson likes to do that shit. It bugs me. Yeah, I think there could probably be... I. Well, yeah, you're right. I don't think there's probably gonna be... Well, I don't know. Yeah. Not a shit ton of dialogue, maybe? Yeah, the Predator line has been done kind of to death. Shout out Adrian Brody. Uh, I'm surprised you got in the mix, but you did. <laughs> Why are we shouting him out? He did uh, the fourth Alien vs. Predator. Oh, okay. Jesus. Yeah, fourth or fifth, like 2012? Fucking something like that? Tarps I love Adrian Brody. He does good work. Yeah. Brothers Bloom, one of my favorite movies. Nice. Yeah. Uh, opposite fucking, what's his name now? Mark. Uh, yes, thank you. Good call. Good pull. That's the cheese mo. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'll see it. I I'll mean, probably it. at home. Yeah. But. Eh, you know who's it, directing by chance off the top of your dome? I could find out probably real yeah. quick. Yeah. I would, this could be, I have a feeling this could be fun at St. John's for some reason. Ooh, I, I can see that. Why I'm thinking I can that. see that. I was also thinking, we were talking about doing a horror the other day. Mm-hmm. Um. If any of you have seen the telephone, is it called the telephone? Or no, the black, black phone. Black phone. Uh, let us know. Uh, no spoilies, but let us know if that's uh, if that's something to look out for. St. John's could be a good spot for me to catch a, a spooky because it's kind of like a fun environment, so I might not get too spookatized. Yeah. Well, since they're just a one theater place, a one a run show place, it's probably got to be like a top tier spook. Is it Mel Gibb? No, but I got some fun news for this. Yeah. This is well, the director is Dan Trachtenberg, which whatever. Um. But this comes out August 5th, and it's distributed by Hulu. Whoa. So that so basically Fox. Well, if it's distributed by Hulu, does that mean we get a Hulu release as well? Interesting. I feel like it does. Remember when Hulu was just their own thing? Yeah. Uh, shout out Ben O'Hara. Turn me on to Hulu. First thing I ever watched on Hulu was Karate Kid. Really? Yeah. On uh, Michael's shitty Dell in his living room. Oh, that was a fun computer spot. It was. My turn for RuneScape. <laughs> My turn to jerk off quietly. <laughs> Graper Melon, dude. <laughs> yeah, Graper Melon. That was our rock band band. That video yeah. game. Uh, music. We got one more. You got some oh, news got to talk one. about. Avatar, guys. Uh, so they're making five of these fucking things. Fuck. And I feel like I'm going to fuck this up a little bit. Uh, two and three 
James Cameron is doing consecutively right now, but he has signed off on like not doing four and five. News to me. Which like five of them? Is it going to be over like 20 fucking years? Like when did the last one come out? What did we say? 2011, 12? Yeah, you don't have to look it up. It so, was a long time it was, ago. It was a long time ago. Then we're going to give five of them? Or yeah. four more in like eight years? Like, what? They're really banking on the success of that first one. Yeah. And I bet you the it's second one's going to come in doing great. I think like, they... I'm sorry. No. I think they still the hold thing. the box office title, though. Did somebody smash it out of the park? Marvel or something? Endgame, perhaps? That's a good question. I feel like it did get beat, and I don't know by who. Okay. Well, I'm able to look it up. And Top Gun it, Maverick. If it did uh, get beat, I'll put it in post. Cool. Um, but James Cameron's basically like, hey, these take all of my time. Actually, I have a quote from him. Uh, basically, they take all of my time, and I like to do other things, so I'm going to pass the torch on to somebody else. If you want to take the time to read that, go ahead and do it, but I can't read so good, and it's 4th of July, so I'm all fucked up. Leave it up for just one more second. You ready to the class? <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. It's too long. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, it's your fucking thing. Yeah. So he's probably got, like, fatty back-end deals. Who put a gun to his... You're doing fucking six of a mud. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't think we need fucking 14 hours of blue people. Nah. That's just me. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I don't know. But where are we here, Cheese? I think we're ready to talk about... Let me pull up a synopsy. Oh, it's time for the feature film there. All right, so we are talking about 1999's Johnny Tsunami. This is a Disney Channel original. Um, quick synopsis for you here. Young Hawaiian surfer Johnny Kapahala gets a rude awakening when his dad relocates to Vermont, a state seriously lacking in waves. There he struggles to fit into a private school where everyone skis. Luckily for Johnny, he meets friends at a public school who um, are snowboarders. And then a rivalry brews between Johnny and the skiers, and they decide to settle their differences on the slopes. <laughs> Bold term. Where? <laughs> <laughs> this is coming in. At a 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb and a 4 out of 5 on Common Sense. I don't fucking know what that common is. Common Sense? 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb. Should we make our own rating scale and just put it out there? Yeah. Just gleeked. That's cool. How do you oh, do it? Dude, Landon can do it. Uh, ben like, could do it on command, too. That's so weird. Freaks uh, and gleeks. <laughs> <laughs> a gleek end at Bernie's. Um, oh, that was a pull and a half, dude. Uh, a <laughs> glee and a Bernie's. Um, yeah, 1999. Yeah. Look, I think these Disney OGs that were coming out before 2000 were a lot better. Way better. Uh, what was Phantom of May? Was that 01? I feel like that was a 2000. That was, that was, that was post 911? I think it was before. 2000, you said. Sorry. I think it was 2000. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Not positive. Fan of the Megaplex. Sorry you didn't get that one, guys, but uh, you can watch it on your own, and you'll probably feel the same way we did. Uh, the movie sucked, but the show I thought we did was pretty good. <sighs> Unfortunately, we can't even watch it. No. So it doesn't it's exist. It's gone in the depths. So it didn't happen. It's a waste of our lives. Though it was fun doing. It was. It was practice. Look, was it? It was about fucking practice? frustrating. was what it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, you want to get into the characters? Let's, do, uh, let's get the posty first. Oh, look at that fucking just mm. handsome young John A. That takes me back. I like the subtle snowflake in the O. Yeah, me too. And I like the palm tree. For if the you're eye. dumb enough, you might not notice he's surfing in the snow. <laughs> and if you didn't catch that, okay. <laughs> or the trees in the back. Figure you think out. there was many meetings about like these posters? No. Darren, put it out. Just do it. Get it done. I bet there was a poster guy. And then he got it approved. I bet it was a poster guy that was also like another guy who also did another job. What if the kid was surfing? Wait a minute. <laughs> Darren, wait. In the snow. In the snow. Nectar. <laughs> Nectar. Um, you want to get into some guys here? Yeah, let's get into it. All right. Brandon Baker. Uh, young Johnny. And I, you know, I feel like he looks par for the goddamn course. Yeah. Uh, hair still... Fucking killing it. Uh, you know what he does now? Mm. He's a wedding officiator slash planner. Oh. And he's fucking ripping it up doing weddings. Really? I would love to get married by Johnny Sue, dude. Do you think there's more waves in Hawaii or in his hair? <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the moon cycle? His hair. <laughs> the moon has cycles? Yeah, so do women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more a fan of the motor. <gasps> Blood moon. Cycles. Yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're doing it. Getting spicy. Um, yeah, I fucking really, really, really enjoy his performance in this. I get that like, it's a cheesy Disney OG. Yeah, it's for 12-year-olds. Uh, the way he handles bad news and shit in this. Like feels, a fucking champion. Feels pretty real. Like, that sucks. I can't control that. I don't really want to talk about it right now. I'm going to go surf. Yeah. Like, when they tell him. Mm-hmm. This is spo- well, not a spoiler, but yeah. I'm not getting into distance. But, like, he gets told we have to move from Vermont from Hawaii. And he's just like. <sighs> he almost shuts it down, like, immediately. I, I don't care where we want to go. Like, that's just happening. Yeah. Like, okay. I know I can't control that, so that's what's that's what's going on. It just felt like more like a, a more down to earth version of how that would really go. Like he's what are you more do? of an adult than his dad. Start, oh yeah, yeah. He was going to throw throw a fit and start crying. Like you kind of expect him to freak out. Yeah, since it's a especially OG. yeah. And he his way of dealing with that is going and surfing, which is the thing he loves. Yeah, fucking really appreciated. Really that. pretty good. Fucking. Uh, so he was also in. Uh, the live action jungle book that I think came out in 96. Okay. He played Mowgli. Yeah. I mean, I mean, let me pull him up again. He's like a fucking born Mowgli. Yeah. Look at this kid. Yeah. Look at this fucking guy. hundred percent. Uh, he was also in punks, another Disney channel, original movie, uh, where they turn like a vacuum into like a soul sucking thing. I think Henry Winkler is also in that one. Wow, I can't think of that. Um, that's reason. another one I was going to mention to you personally that we should do to watch punks uh you remember big red the soccer or what was it called yeah where the kid the goalie yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, 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 yeah. he's he's about. in it there's like some kids of the time in that movie okay uh he was also in that and uh wind river which i guess was a four tv movie maybe i'm wrong i feel uh, like you know what i'm talking about wind river yeah mm-hmm. that's fairly recent ish if i'm no wondering. no different different, different mystic one. river no no no, no. Hmm. i think that's this is a four tv like uh Probably probably pre ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Um I didn't do my research super good. If I don't see a movie that I know and there's X amounts to choose from, I'm just like, I'm gonna pick that one. You don't, don't know what it doesn't Yeah, exist. I don't know it. Uh but yeah, he's killing it in the wedding game. Like, props to him. Props to him. Fuck yeah, dude. Good job. I bet there's like a little bit of like a claim too. Like, do fucking Johnny Tsunami married us? Oh, for sure. <laughs> that's, that's like millennial pride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I want him. I mean, I'm pride married. cock. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, all right. Remember when I told you there's gonna be a bombshell? Yeah. So if you're a Disney Channel kid, you remember the famous Jet Jackson. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is him. This is uh Lee Thompson Young. He did Friday Night Lights. He was in The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, famous Jet Jackson, as I always mentioned. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, this young buck uh. He took his own life in 2013. Oh, really? Yeah, he took a shot to the head. Shot to the head. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Pretty big bummer. Like I was literally awestruck when uh, when I read it. I was. Did you just find that out through the research on today? This? Yeah. Like today. Uh, I didn't know that. He was on uh, Rosalian Isles. Oops. <laughs> That's in proper timing, Tim. God. Uh, which uh, is like a cop drama. Like I assume, kind of adjacent to uh, I've never seen it, but I assume it's like a uh, Law and Order kind of deal. Uh, and he was a recurring character, and uh, yeah, he uh, Dang. he decided uh, enough was enough and uh, did a thing. It's a real, real. I was literally affected, like a little bit. Like I was uh, hurt, hurt my uh, hurt my feelings a little bit. Yeah, can't imagine being his family. It fucking sucks. That sucks, man. That's yeah. a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a tough thing. Yeah. Uh, we thank him for the happy memories he gave us. Dude, remember, have you seen Friday Night Lights? Yeah. Yeah, dude. When he fucking like, he's got like the shitty cleats and he like colors them in because yeah. he doesn't want to seem poor. That fucking hit me hard, dude. Mm. Yeah, dude. Uh, he was great. He did a bunch of other stuff too. He was a big Disney Channel kid. I love him in this. Oh, he's great in this. I like that there's, they hit some cliches pretty well. like. They're definitely cliches, but the chemistry makes yeah, up for it. Yeah, like he's in in this one. He's a like a, a movie or not a movie, a military brat where he has to move around a lot. And, yeah. Uh, um. He does. He because he's he, so he goes to. There's two different schools. There's Skyline, which is like the prep school, and then there's uh Maple Valley, which is like the shit. God, I shouldn't have said damn that. it. <laughs> that was same. <laughs> right. Uh, w- was the uh, the public school, and you know Johnny's not fitting in with the with the Skyline kids, so he he makes friends with Sam, and it's just cool. And Sam, like, it, and they don't they don't like result like they don't explain why Sam's so cool to him just right off the bat, and then it later comes up. Sam's like, dude, I move around all the time. Like, I get what it's like being the new kid, and I was like, fuck, that's good job, yeah. good job, Disney. 
Absolutely. There was some payoff with that because they waited a little bit. I'm glad we both told snowboarding stories earlier too, mm-hmm. because like you've had that friend that's like, I'm going to teach you how to do this. And then they give up like 15 minutes in. Like he taught two kids and fucking Emily wasn't super grateful and then got everyone in trouble. He took the fucking time Emily. to try to teach them. Like, which is big. Yeah. Like, I know it's a movie and stuff, but like, that's, uh, that's no menial task. And I like that they kind of do a callback to that when they go to Hawaii and uh, Johnny Jr. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. Uh, his boys come over and he's like, dude, fucking hit this fat swell. And he's like, oh, no, well, I I can't. And yeah, he kind of gets a little uh, what they call in treatment reciprocity. He, he gives him a little uh, a little uh, a little back. Yeah. He gives him a little teach, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry if you see the corner of my garage. I'm trying to be professional, but it's windy and it's hot. So if you see it, okay. low cintas. It is what it is. Anyway, yeah, man, he he they they do it. That's this is going to be a lot of the topic about what what what's done right with this thing because this thing has it kind of it's hard to right now compare it to Phantom of the Megaplex because the episode didn't come out. Yeah. But the Phantom of the Megaplex was lacking any semblance of heart to yeah. it, and this pretty quickly on you can tell is like okay, this is going to have like a better message feeling like purpose to why there's motives to shit i guess motives is such a good way to put it too like there there's motivation for characters to do certain things i mean again we're talking about fucking a disney channel original movie Mm -hmm. so you gotta kind of take that in context yeah but there is definitely more watchable than this is uh okay one two three brink motocross giant tsunami for me okay thousand percent i need to see motocross oh we'll do it i think we got a couple more here do you want I, me to do it? I think I misspelled this. I think it's Carrie. Uh, hey, are, hey, are Yuki? I think I, yeah. I think I put the R in the wrong spot. Hero Yuki. Uh, so you might know this fella from uh, Mortal Kombat, and I bel- no, he wasn't. I was gonna say another thing. He definitely wasn't Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Go ahead and take it away, Chase. Uh, yeah. Well, the, the biggest thing, he's definitely the top build guy in this, and probably a lot of the early Disney OGs because. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat, he was big. In, he's been in a lot of other stuff, too, that mm-hmm. I don't remember off the top of my head, unfortunately. But um, uh, I, I, I like his performance in this. I will say that. He was in Mortal Kombat. He was in a few episodes of Grimm, which is actually filmed here, filmed here in Portland. Oh. And he also did the Tekken movie in 2010. Okay. Yeah. He, um, I like him in this also. I think he plays a good laid-back grandpa. Does it... I asked you this over the phone, but I want to I wanna get the, the, the reaction hey on me, baby. Does it Was it a little bit just i don't even know the right word for it was it peculiar to you at all that they casted two japanese actors for johnny's dad and grandpa i mean like a little bit um like it kind of touched my funny bone at first and then uh you called me when i was almost done with it and i was like yeah that's a little weird but i mean they don't really they blew their budget on fucking carrie here so i mean oh yeah what are you gonna fucking do i don't know i guess i just thought like I mean, can you name a Polynesian actor? <laughs> Moana? Okay. <laughs> She's in the Disney world, so they should have fucking hired that cartoon. I don't yeah, again, it's not it's not an issue. Right. Like, that wouldn't fly today. But um Unfortunately, like they're acting. They're acting. No, it, like I, again, it wasn't like a I just was like right. peculiar is probably the best word for him. Like, huh, I wonder like yeah. why they went with it, Because it they got him to do grandpa, so they went with a, a Japanese actor to play dad or Yeah. Like it didn't. It didn't strike me as as odd initially, yeah. um, but once you once you uh, were like, "Where do you think they're from?" I was like, "Oh yeah, they are definitely Japanese." It's like I'm new. Neut- like I definitely noticed right away, but it didn't like bug me. I was just like, "Oh, huh." Um, this is probably a hate. Don't hate, but uh, Johnny Tsunami Senior Grandpa, his accent goes real Hawaiian and then real not Hawaiian. Yeah, like especially when he gets sentimental. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, there's definitely some leaks in the, in the in the accent there. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, this is for twelve year olds again. Exactly. Is the next one his kid? Uh, yes. So this is Pete. This is uh Johnny's Johnny Junior. His his father. And he was in uh I think Karate Kid one through three. Okay. And I believe he's also in Cobra Kai. Okay. So good for fucking good him. Good for him. He's he's working. He was also in Better Off Dead. Uh, an 80s movie that I haven't seen, but I know it's a relevant thing to a lot of folks. And he was also on The Truman Show, and I've seen The Truman Show a handful of times, and he must be like 
one of the like behind the scenes broadcast you guys because uh, I, I can't I can't place so. yeah I can't I can't pick him out of that uh, but he's credited in the Truman Show yeah and he's looking great uh, on the right there that's 2021 so doing wonderful he's good he uh, oh go ahead he is 63 and the gentleman we showed before this was 73 okay yeah 10 year difference yeah oh that's they do a good job yeah they look that. they look good um, I believe that they're father and son too yeah absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely I do that he he kind of leads the conflict in this thing. Yeah, he's a douche. Well, yes. Yeah. Um, but I think that they do a good job maybe kind of of like getting to the root of it and dealing with expectations and, and, and dealing with expectations is a pretty good way to put it. And, and realizing that like, if you, if you, if you, if you force a, person's face in the water to drink they're gonna drown <laughs> i don't know where yeah. this came from yeah i thought it was for lack of a better term better term uh it was disney powerful when when grandpa's like i'm not gonna send them back yeah. today they have to figure out for themselves and i think that's a, a thing a lot of people need to take a step back and do like in most situations like people don't like to be forced to make decisions they yeah. have to make them for themselves like in any situation yeah with anything you're dealing with that is like a touchy kind of thing uh, yeah, you can't force someone to make a, a, a decision because that's probably not the decision they want to make anyway, and then they're just going to fuck around with the way you didn't want them to do it anyway. Yeah. The, I was worried for... I mean, well, I guess I wasn't really worried. I could kind of tell that it wasn't going to go that way. But there's a real lazy way to go about this where they do not, like... They don't really resolve dad and grandpa's issues, and mm -hmm. it kind of just becomes like, oh, you support him at the end, and he won the race. Good oh, job. Oh, I fucking... I hate... The end, kind of. When dad's like, it's so... I hope this was take one, because it feels like take 50. Ugh. All right, everybody, we're having a party. Uh, everybody's invited. Come on down. And then it's like this glorious party. Yeah, like, it's like a little He's got while. like a tiki part. And like, you just planned this 10 minutes ago, sir? Yeah. I don't believe you did. Yeah. Disney magic, whatever. But, I mean, there's some stink on this, but you got to... Can I go here? Yeah. I think we're both in the same boat and we're both waiting for each other to say it. This is Brink Light. It's basically the same movie with different aspects. There's a race. X Blades is Sky. Fucking Soul Surfers are fucking, I want to say Guinea, but it's not. I forget now. Maybe Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to shop a Gumi there. Uh, yeah, it's basically Brink Light. Uh, and I think Brink does a better job in this movie. This is also, what did we say this was? 99? 99. So this is a year after. I think they, they kind of probably saw that Brink did pretty okay, and they kind of took the it formula. and ran with it. And followed the, I mean, that's 90% of these Disney Channel original movies is like sports, conflict with parents, overcome, win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's why my dad hates all of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it yeah. definitely isn't for a lot of people. Yeah. No. But like, for a Disney OG, I yeah. mean, like talking about the the dad Pete who like wants him to have maybe a more like in his eyes, he's giving Johnny better opportunities in life um, by going to a more exclusive school, not solely focusing right. on surfing. Which there's there's some truth to that. Um, I, I really enjoy the dynamic with his wife in this who like she, yeah. her opinion and voice is just as fucking important. And like, she knows when to tell him to like, Hey, what you're doing is that's yeah, not cool, how we're cool going to raise jets there, Pito. Yeah, it's like, that's not how we're going to raise our kid way and, better than Eve in face off. Wait, better than what? Eve in face off. Like she actually has a voice and she has reason. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it, it and actually seems like they're fucking married and there's weight to it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, her, sure. her input is. Just as like mm -hmm. when she finally puts her foot down and is like, yeah, You're, this isn't the person I married, you know, 10 which years is like, ago. like pretty heavy for like the tone we're talking about. Oh, like yeah. She's like, fucking movie. And I'm not going to and I'm not going to let you rob like our son of that person you mm -hmm. were. And I was like, that's fucking that's a pretty, pretty good, pretty good Disney line right there. Four TV movie. Pretty fucking good. One more. Yeah. You might know her from Xenon Girl of 21st Century. Ooh. Uh, this is uh, Kristen Storms. It's a cool name. That's yeah, pretty cool. I oh, I should have looked if that was a uh, a pin name, stage name. Stage name. That's a better name. Yeah, she's not in prison. Uh, yeah, she's looking good there. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, she obviously I just said Xenon Girl of the Twenty First Century. I think they made 
two. I slowed the fuck out of that. I can tell by your face. <laughs> Xenon girl of the 21st century. Yeah. There was two or three of those. Yeah, there was a few, wasn't there? Uh, I think I saw. I think it was called like Xenon 2001. I don't think I saw the first one. I didn't really give a fuck. Yeah. Again, if you watch the show, I'm not real into space. Eh. Okay. I'm more into extreme sports. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs doing kickflips and shit. That's my jam. <laughs> Dogs dunking basketballs. Yeah, dude. Um, but there's a little bit of controversy. Um, she was also a uh, a soap opera gal. That's kind of the niche she's found herself in. She's uh, Days of Our Lives, and right now she's kind of a hot commodity in uh, General Hospital, which uh, I know that's like a heavy-hitting name. It's been on for like fucking 30-plus years. And... Uh, I think her name is Mary, Mo- Maury, Ma- Mari. In I should have fucking the show. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she gained a bit of weight, and people are giving her like a lot of shit about it. Really? I think she's still pretty taste, dude. Yeah, I mean, she looks like a normal person. People are really shitting on her, though. Huh? Probably because I mean, she was zero pounds, and then she's like. A couple more pounds than zero, but that's a regular person. That's not even like a full shot. Like that could be no. not a very flattering. She's fine angle, but I don't know. Yeah, people are weird. I don't know. Fat shaming is weird to me. Like you shouldn't be fat, but you also should just fucking hold your tongue, probably. Yeah, I fat shame myself every day. It sucks. Yeah, but I don't know. I it's, if you need a wheelchair, <laughs> sir, then yeah, you should fucking figure it out. Probably pretty hard, but. This is probably going to be a controversial topic to get into, yeah. but um, yeah, being a being a, just a dick to somebody because they're they're fat, yeah, just being a shitty person. But there's also another level of like the like being so okay with being unhealthy that like that's also not good though. Same page, sir. Like you have to take a little bit of ownership and like although yeah, I don't want people to just fucking like shit on me all the time. Yeah, like, this isn't sustainable. Yeah, and I need to try and so there's got to be at least like, not not saying shit on people. That's not good at all. Don't no. be an asshole just in general. But also like, the whole health at every size thing is also like well, but at some point certain sizes it's not healthy. And it's, you have to try. It. It's not a good mindset for like the nation or the generation or whatever you want to say. Like we shouldn't be okay with everyone being plus size. It's not a good look for anybody. No, and I think that like. You just, there's got to just be like, you have to, you know, like part of loving yourself is taking care of yourself. Absolutely. And, um, it's just a little bit ignorant in my opinion to just like disregard that. Yeah. And that's talking from somebody who is the heaviest I've ever been. And this kind of sucks to talk about, but like you got to have some ownership and you got to try and want to, want to be better. and, And that takes work and effort and you don't have to hate yourself the whole time through it. That's a big part of you it. Just it's 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 okay to want to you know do better and be better too, and that sure. should be a little bit focused on when it comes to that dynamic. So that's all I'll say about that. Sure. Anyway, I just she's not fucking. She's fine. Yeah, she's that, normal. If she's she's normal roasted, fucking that seems, size. That seems excessive. Yeah. Be and nice it, to people. Yeah. Oh, Rachel Ray kind of got the same fucking thing. Uh, so did uh, Kelly Clarkson. Kind of got the same yeah. deal. She's just pretty fucking normal size lady. I don't know. People I would can need put a fucking weight without fucking blasting yeah, them. Like they're I don't know. going through some shit too. If you need a wheelchair or something, figure it out. You know? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. That's the cast. Chester Cheese, why don't you go ahead and tell me what you liked about this movie? Well, uh, out of curiosity, how did you feel about like Emily's character in this thing? Uh pretty stale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm <laughs> pretty pretty not great. Pretty surprised that she I, I'm pretty sure this is pre Xenon, so I'm kind of surprised I kind of kept her around because maybe there was some shit they cut out of her part, but she's just kind of the dime piece. She's a prize to be won, and yeah, and they don't, I don't really, really care. They don't really do a good job of of. You don't have to establish a love story in like a Disney OG like this, but you can't no. really tell if that's the route they're going, and if she is the love interest of the fucking dickhead skiers already or not. But like. Clearly, they're trying to show that she has a good heart because she, like, takes the magazine out of the trash. And, yeah. Like, you know. But there's also shit where, like, she, like, recklessly tries to snowboard too hard off the side of a thing and then, like, gets everyone in really big trouble. Which is legitimately sketchy. Oh, dude. Like, if that was real life, fucking bad news bears all day. The way they filmed that was, like, uh... It didn't look very CG either. That's, like, a real person. Maybe there was like, a net or something? Yeah, something. Maybe the drop wasn't that gnarly. But, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was, like, huh. 
not my favorite character in this in, no. in a movie where I pretty much like, or at least feel like they were casted well enough. For, yeah. So I don't, know, I don't really take anything away from her, but um, maybe she should lose some weight. <laughs> 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 Way to bring it full Sorry. circle, there, Jesus. Oh, God. Um, That's how you deal with your problems. You joke it about it. You do. That's my entire life. Um, I will say one thing I do like. Well, actually, it's a like and dislike. Uh, first, I don't know, fucking 10 minutes, stunt guys, not good. <laughs> Like, like the way they looked? Yes. Oh, yeah. Dude, Grandpa yeah. with the wig, like yeah. the first wave you see, Johnny Sue, that ain't, <laughs> that, that ain't oh, 60 no. years of fun out None there. of them. <laughs> no, None of them sir. Yeah. But yeah. then when we get to the snow times, dude, the fucking, the fake crashing, ripping, who, whoever they fucking hired to do those scenes, like putting their bodies on the line for a movie that's going to make zero fucking money for tweens? Yeah. Killed it, dude. Yeah. yeah, I wondered about that. <laughs> Falling too. with style, Toy Story, dog. Yeah, that is insane. Yeah, really nuts. When he first goes down the mountain in the skis mm -hmm. and is like trying hard not to crash the whole time, but it, like that's really technical, super hard skiing. Dude, <laughs> like, it's probably harder than just doing good. Oh, faux show. Sure. Bouncing like the, on one the foot. slide in the pro shop too. Like yeah. I hope that was one take for you, Brandon. Yeah, uh, yeah, is nuts. Oh. Like yeah, the stunt guys. I shit on real hard at first. I'm reiterating what I just said, but yeah, they they really pick it up in the end. Yeah, it was it was well in terms of just like looking like them. Well, it's pretty painfully obvious pretty that it's pretty not, hard but like, to look. How do you do that? Like a twelve year old. Oh yeah. Swells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely is. <laughs> um, you know who I didn't like a lot in this? Please, the principal, the headmaster. <sighs> I wrote down. Kennedy? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why is your voice like that? Yeah. Voice is like, are you trying way too hard to do like yeah, a New dude, England? Cause did she just enroll in Juilliard? What are you doing? It's not right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. Okay. Okay, rookie pal. actor. Yeah, dude. Uh, um, yeah. Principal, pretty dumb. Uh, I wish he would have kind of stuck to his guns one way or another. Like, are we going to be a hard ass or are we going to be chill? Yeah. And he's kind of just like in between which is just kind of like yucky it's like you're a pussy and you need to stick to one of them yeah yeah i don't know it just felt like his like i get what his motive is in this it's to be like you know you are the company you keep and you need to not snowboard yeah it outside was, of the mountain stick to your friends you know stick to the whites here yeah this school is all whites except for you that's kind of how yeah the hill feels or the mountain is like segregated, but I, I feel like this movie isn't deep enough to try to do no, that. No, 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 no. I it's also Vermont. Yeah, not a lot of diversity. God damn it! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, that was gonna trick you with New England, <laughs> which I don't. In my brain, Vermont's not New England. Really? I mean, it is. Well, but right. To me, it's not. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm real bad at the uh, geography, topography, anything with a fee. I'm not in. <laughs> what about a bank fee? <laughs> uh, exactly. Not for me. I uh, I'm weirdly pretty good with geography. You are. And What's the place? capital of Vermont? Oh, oh Quium. <laughs> <laughs> I just made the burp work. I don't know. Oh, hold on. It's real Frenchy. It's your most Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. What is it? I think it's Montpellier. I would have never. Here, fact check myself before the muffs yell at me. But no, pretty pretty. Pretty good time. Uh, Principal really reminded me of like a Kennedy slash uh, Christopher Walken. Like he couldn't find his footing. And he had his 15 minutes. What is it? Montpellier. Montpellier. Or Montpellier for the layman. For the layman. Uh, Bernie's from there. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Is he still a senator over there? I think so. That's pretty cool. In my dumb brain, I'm like, once you run for president, you don't have a job anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we're president, back to the, back to the swamp. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Kyle was telling me, uh, Vermont's beautiful, and I'm sure it is. I would like to go to Vermont. Yeah, they've got that's like that's like prime, East Coast uh, here, East Coast fall weather, like yeah. all the popping, popping pussy popping poplars. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Low Wayne dog. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Make money. <laughs> um, where are we at? Are we um, we're likes, dislikes. Yeah. Um, 
okay, dislike. I didn't like the principal. Um, a lot of the dialogues goofy, but that's very a lot of dialogue not great. But yeah, you super get, expected. It's on a spectrum. So yeah. like, um, totally to be expected. Uh, Dad's pretty pretty annoying at first, but I do feel like they do a good job of like kind of explaining why that is, and then a you bit, do, a bit, yeah, like give me some deeds. He had some like daddy issues that were a little bit it wasn't and then like he had to so he had some walls up with with his dad and then like um you know dad kind of explained like well when you like you know could have done some things different when you stopped surfing to me that was like but i had to let you figure that out for yourself and he's like oh fuck that's a pretty good point yeah so i mean it's not great but i feel like there's at least a little bit of depth with it like i said i feel like it could have like his art could have not been touched on it all and it could have just been like a cheesy like well dad now decides to go to the race and yeah win Mm -hmm. which does happen but there's kind of like a reason to why he's like yeah i'm being way too unfair with this kid right now that's pretty stupid um dislike for you i'll give you a dislike um the fucking surfing metal should hold no merit to uh the sky kid i forget his name now when they race at the end Mm. brett i think i do you just want to take that from him just because you're an asshole is that the whole motivation behind that you shouldn't care. And honestly, I've gotten better looking medals from like track events that I got a participation trophy for. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he just trying to be a dick? Because like they bring it out. He's like, I'll give you this too. And he's like, okay. Well, since that's on the table, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, that would only matters to one person. In that <laughs> he race. doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. I mean, they, they do try to make it like Johnny really wants to keep it in the family. So maybe that's why I think his name is Brett. That's why he so. wants to like take it from him. But it didn't. Again, it's a fucking Disney movie, so you gotta take your lumps. But yeah. there wasn't a whole lot of motivation for me there to really believe that. Yeah, because there's a lot on the line for Brett. Kinda, he's gonna lose his sweet runs, right? And like the cherry on top is a medal you don't give a fuck about. Well, he's not even gonna lose them. He has to share them. That's true. That's <laughs> like, very true. Pretty uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, that there's no stakes to him for why he needs the mail. I did not like the... Uh, oh, were you about to jump into another one? No, no, I was just reading. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, we, we already touched on that, but like Emily's motivations or, or, or purpose in this is a little not that important to this. Uh, not at all. She's eye candy. That's all she is. I, yeah, I guess you have to have, have her in this. And, and you kind of feel like the serving the purpose of being the headmaster's daughter might come a little bit more into play. It doesn't really. Like, Johnny tries no. to take the heat mm-hmm. from her for some reason. Because he wants to fucking kid smash her. I get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants Bum a, fuglies. He wants a full halfy. Uh, stuff you did like. Well, I got one more didn't like. Lay on me. And I feel like it was just to get to an hour 30 to make this a full feature. We were going to do this on the opening, but we didn't do it. How long does this take to learn? About that, about that fucking long. Mahalo. So then you come here. Oh, hold on. It was, well, it was, do you start here? Yeah. Wait, wait which side? I'm trying side. to do Johnny how he couldn't figure it out at first. Does feel does feel pretty good. Feels pretty good. It's not that great. But it's about two minutes of learning that. Uh, <sighs> yeah. 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 A little too much. Um, I think I had a couple more dislikes. Oh, there. his parents don't really know what the fuck he's doing ever, and then get really <laughs> pissed about when he does stuff that they don't care that he's doing it. Mom seems fairly understanding. Yeah. Well, also, it's the 90s. There's no cell phones. Like, Good point. But Good going point. out in the snow that you're not used to. And, like, okay, picture this. <laughs> you fucking, you move, you move to Nevada, and all your friends race desert dirt bikes. Right. After school, they're like, hey, you want to hop on a dirt bike? And fucking rip the desert up? Right. You come home with, like, a bloody nose, and your back hurts really bad. And your parents are like, well, are you actually okay? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, it's caused some lumps. You think they're not giving you a phone call to your friends? <laughs> like, right. what? Yeah. Again, it's Disney movie magic. Right. But, right. like, they are not involved in most of the, like, plans that he has at all. Yeah, dad's a little too quick every time to just assume that Johnny did something stupid. Yeah. Mom, mom seems to be a little bit more understanding about Definitely. that. Um. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, some things I did like. Grandpa's hair is straight on point. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Sue scene. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. That's a Tim OG. Yeah. His, uh, I was going to say Pilly Rojo, but that's just redhead. Yep. Yeah. Might be in, though. What's hair? 
Or what's head in that sentence? Head is cabeza. Oh. Why isn't it peli cabeza? Well, red's rojo. Oh. What's peli then? Hair. The way you're saying it. Oh. Well, if a little. I hate a conjugation. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, I will say thing, something I did like, especially for a Disney movie. This is not really a Disney movie, but it's a Disney movie. Yeah. Fight scene? Pretty fucking fighty. Pretty good. Yeah, like it's punch felt like had some weight to it, dude. It's not like a punch. Like he gets full mounted, <laughs> he takes bread to the ground. <laughs> like I'm kind of surprised it goes there. And they also do get like a little sexy. They talk about girls in bikinis and like picking up broads. Is everyone in Hawaii like this? Like pretty much, yeah. dude. Nectar. Yeah, you you see his mom's shirt said nectar. And oh, I was like, nice. oh, that's is that is that something we're doing? Does mom have some fucking nectar bits? We do need to talk about the mom a little bit because you are a fan of some Disney OG moms. Go check out the Phantom of the Megaplex <laughs> mom because... Oh, we didn't do that though. No, but they should go look her oh, up. Oh, I see what you're and saying. And then look up the mom from Jumanji. Yeah. And this Disney mom's top three for me, dog. She ate. She better than I She ate. She ate? She's she Sunni, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> she jihad. <laughs> but <laughs> she got me hard. All right. Kurds. Uh, boo. Um, yeah, yeah, boo us on that. Uh, <laughs> stuff I liked here, we probably got to land this thing. Yeah. Uh, stuff I liked, pretty much the whole thing. I mean, like, this is pretty good Disney OG for me. Yeah. I do feel a little bit like the Brink Light, like, I like this enough to want it to, like, it. it, it is, but I also enjoy it enough to where it's different enough. Oh, well, it's definitely different. There's different, there's different themes, but the outcome... And the way we get to the outcome is kind of the same. Like, even the race is pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, fucking Brett tries to bump Johnny, and Johnny takes a bit of a shortcut. And they don't actually really do the race that much justice. Like, there's not that much buildup to it. It's nope. kind of like two minutes, and, like, Brett kind of, like, fall fucking slides, and Johnny wins, and come to the barbecue we didn't plan! Yeah, I kind of like that it was, like, a not a, a quickie. ten minute fucking... Yeah action scene race but no i mean i liked the, the dynamics with the family and then like not taking the kids straight home and letting them figure that out for themselves uh sam's character and relationship with his father was 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 pretty endearing to me as well um a lot of stuff landed here like i like brink is definitely the the cream of the crop for me with disney OGs, yeah. and this is right there it's, it's, it's right i'm there. not gonna put I never put this above brink but it's very very close like the, and you know what i could watch this again it's pretty good it's i mean you gotta know what you signed up for it's an hour and a half yeah I can it's throw it on. Pretty fucking good. Yeah, fucking throw it up. That's a shirt. Fucking throw it up. Fucking throw it up. Woo! You're right, not throw it up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, did I have one more? Oh, I will say, if you are a fan of motocross, I believe uh uh the sky side of the mountain, the the pro shop guy is <laughs> Jimmy from uh the cycle store. Yeah. Which could be a positive or negative, but I'm going to call it a positive because it's fun for me. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I did also like that we do get a little resolution like of who owns the mountain, and it's the two fucking dweebs. Yeah, the two fucking dweebs. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. They didn't need to do that to us. No, well, they mentioned early on that like there was like the family at some point, two people went to different schools, and then it kind of split on its own, but they never like... And then at the end, they're, they're like, yeah, I don't know why we ever like stuck to that. When's the last time you saw Out Cold? Oh fuck! Years and years. I feel and years. like that's also the premise to Out Cold. And probably, the pre yeah. And I think Out Cold was about ninety-five. Ooh. Copy There's also there. Ski School, which I've seen, but I don't really remember. But I'm pretty sure that Snowboarders vs. Uh, skiers with a mountain divided as well. It's been done a lot. It's a bit of a phoner here. Sure. Anyway, um. Non-specifics. Non-specific. I'll take it away this time. Um, so recommendation for this, this is going to be probably the same for almost every Disney OG. Yeah. If you like the Brink, you're probably going to like this. Um, for a Disney OG, I do think this has got some heart with it too. It's They're all going to be a little corny, but this isn't so corny that it fucking sucks. Um, there's some good family dynamics, good little lessons learned here. Uh, Johnny's like probably the most relatable, like, kid version of these disney movies that i see like i like brink so much more but i think johnny's like reaction he's right shit there. better than he's brink, the most probably. adult in the movie yeah yeah yeah. and um so with that said uh i 
probably wouldn't recommend this to that many people. I think, again, if you are like me and Tim around our age and you remember this fondly from your childhood, watch it again. If you're a boomer, just call it quits. You're probably sick of it because your kids watched it a bunch. Yeah, you probably. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Yeah. Um, not for everybody. That's okay. Same with this podcast. Uh, Same. That's all right. Uh, my rating on this is a pretty, I have love, I need to go back and, and flip to like every, uh, one of these we've done and jot down in my notes what I rated the movie. I was going to say episode 30 should just be a recap and we should like have a, a whiteboard or something and oh. rank everything. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, Is there something you're interested in? Let us know in the comments. Comment in the comments below. Hey, put a comment in the comment section. Like and subscribe. Smash smash that, dude. We'll do pranks. Smash it, dude. Uh, Prank YouTube's weird. Um, what was it? I, I'd like to know what I gave Brink, but this is not above Brink. To me, this is a very, very solid seven. Yeah. Yeah, I like this thing. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you should know what you're signing up for. Uh, pretty fun to go back and rewatch this, just yeah. like Brink was years after. And then to be surprised with the level of heart involved with it, and that like parents can be wrong and learn too, is like, yeah, that's a good fucking message to have. And it really is. And uh, yeah, so coming in at a seven for the old chase, Tim laid on me. Yeah, I recommend not to any parents of our generation because they've <laughs> probably seen it enough times. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Again, same with Chase. If you're someone in our generation, in our generation that saw it, you should probably watch it again. It's a pretty good time. Um, I think the ratings were what we're really trying to get down to here. Uh, you give it a sev. I think I'm right there with you. I might even give it like a seven two. It's pretty sure. fucking fun. Yeah. Yeah, again, Chase already said it. You you gotta know what you signed up for. It's I mean, it's a fucking Disney Channel original movie. I mean, you, you gotta sit through like fade in and, and outs for commercial cuts here and there. I mean, it's a four TV fucking movie. What do you want from us? Uh, it's great. It's a good time. It's a good time. I I really love doing these Disney Channel original ones. Though. I'm starting to think we should do a like rank them all. Yeah, I don't know though. Once they start getting stanky, they can be real stanky. I think it'd be, it'd be fun, fun to have a leaderboard, and then we could. That's something we could do throughout, and we could have like magnet strips. If, if you're a Top Gear fan, I think a lot of guys do that, but uh, <laughs> that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> the Summer of Disney OGs. Anyway, uh, 7 and 7-2. Love it. Love it. Write it down. That seems perfectly Book normal. is the law. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do where Chris <laughs> and yo, yes. Yes. some trivia, the movies are trivia, the surfing board and urchins hard in the mountain. Uh, and snow and winds feel cold and peep. <coughs> I'll uh I'll lead us off here this time. Alright, Chester. Did last time. Okay. <laughs> Why does the headmaster say wearing a uniform is important? Is is this like uh it, so that clothes don't distract other kids? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that, so it was kind of like a, there's a little, he kind of says a few things, but yeah, it's like, so it doesn't distract people, yeah. and then he's also like, it keeps everyone on a level playing field, so that, like, those so The blacks and the rights don't riot. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what two things are they racing for at the end of the movie? Uh... <laughs> The slopes and the fucking metal, dude. Bang, bang, dude. <laughs> what did Johnny's grandpa name little Johnny? Uh, p p po Pono? Yes! Yeah. yeah very good. <laughs> Are you at three out of three? Yeah. Okay. How'd you spell that? P O N O. Oh, I put an E in there. <laughs> po nine. Po nine no nos. <laughs> nice. Uh, what is the name of the website Johnny's dad God is writing damn code it. for? Uh, I was going to rewind it, <laughs> but Grace had breakfast already ready, and I was like, I can't rewind it. It's called like Weblink or something. Oh, it's so generic. It's. That's not very close, but it's two words that are super generic. I don't know. Nah, net study. Net study. God, boo, damn it. Boo, Radley. All right, you're at uh, three out of four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
I got kind of a dick one, and then I got a not so dick one. Follow your farts. That's too easy. Fuck. Ah, fuck it. Where is Sam's dad relocated to? Iceland. Yep. <laughs> okay. Do you want to hear? Well, it could yeah, be give, me, give me the. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, 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 do, we'll do it after turds. Because I was between two, two questions right there. All right. What do I got here? <clears throat> Chester Cheese. Mm-hmm. What does Pono mean? Wow. Goodness. And that was the question I was just going <laughs> to reiterate to <laughs> oh, you. Really? That's wild. Yeah. Good, okay. Goodness. That was good luck. I'm. I I actually rewound it and put on captions. Yeah. Because I couldn't tell if what he was saying. All right, we'll give we'll give you goodness. I I'm pretty confident. In I that trust one. you. I'm not gonna goog you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why that's the fucking literal question I was between. Chester. Yep. Would you do me a favor? Yeah. Would you go ahead and finish the sentence? Fuck. Keep your. This is too vague. <laughs> um. Keep your. Jesus. Uh, you need a hint? Is it hintable? Um, uh, money you give to food service people. Oh, that's a good hint. Keep your tips up. Yeah! <laughs> if you maybe would have said, no, you, there's no I way don't you can know, say I don't know. I was, was going to say steak. <laughs> Rare? <laughs> that was a good hint. Uh, let's see here. Okay. How much does Johnny pay for his snowboard? Oh, fuck. Don't it, think too hard. It's nothing. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, you're Johnny Gabble. Hold it. Yeah. What is the urchin's motto? Go big or go home. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. It all comes down to this. Give me a doozy. Uh, what do I got here? Screen right in the camera. Sorry. Oh, okay. This one might be hard. Love it. Uh, what does Sam's dad call civilian clothes? Civvies. Chester Rico! I believe that's a fucking home run! Oh, that's a fun one. That was a good one. All right, guys. Uh, this is the end of the show here. If you want to go ahead and give us a fucking subby on the YouTube. Sub it up! That'd be fucking swell. If you want to check us out on Instagram at Approve for All Audiences, that'd be fantastic as well. Approve for All on Twitter. Uh, if you want to check out our, uh, what do you call it? A website <laughs> at Approve for All Audiences.buzzsprout.com. You can find links to our Twitter, our Instagram, audio only versions. Our YouTube is there. That'd be fucking swell as well. Chase, you got anything else for him? Well, I was just thinking that maybe, maybe whoever the one, does it let you know? If, like who subscribes? No. Oh. Well, some, but not all. Well, I was gonna say if if whoever gets the uh, that one hundredth uh, subby spot could potentially get a sleeve of some golf balls with our logo on it. Oh yeah, if you do, if you like golf, uh, it's I'm, fine. Uh, and you want to give us ten bucks, I'll send you a sleeve. If free not, golf, free golf balls that cost ten bucks. That's cool. Um, <laughs> actually, if you know if you're the hundredth subscriber, why don't you go ahead and send us a screenshot? Yeah, and uh, we'll get something for you. Yeah, if you can, if you can show us that you're number hundy. Uh, yeah, we'll send you maybe a poster, maybe some golf balls, maybe a cup with Ooh. some jizz in it. <laughs> All of ours. Yeah. So we can have twins together. Hey, love you, muffs. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs>